Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning, August 29th, just after 9.30 this morning, and Jeff and I are at Grand Beach. We're at um, the east side of Grand Beach, and right now we practically have the whole beach to ourselves right now, which is, which is what I was aiming for. Jeff is back there checking out the water and uh, oh my god I'm already feeling relaxed and calm and at ease we're just gonna spend majority of the morning here and then we're gonna try to go fishing this afternoon I don't know where exactly but for now we're enjoying the beach as you can see here the sand is like super soft Hopefully you guys can see that, but yeah, I'll show you guys more of the beach. Walking in the water, guys, and it feels kind of cold, but kind of refreshing at the same time. Good morning, Jeff. Morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome! <sighs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. glad we came here super early before everyone else does. Just gives you, you know, a bit more extra time to be at peace and with yourself outside the beautiful sunshine on this beautiful soft sand. <laughs> So Jeff and I went to this bakery yesterday just to check it out. We've never been here before um, called Ming's Bakery and if you live in Winnipeg, it's on Logan Avenue. There's the address right there. And um, they, they sell like a variety of different kinds of buns that um, Jeff wanted to try. He's, uh, he just took a picture of it right now. <laughs> what? Which bun is this? Ooh, look at that. It's got shredded coconut and then got your like buttercream butter cream in the middle there. And that's going to be a bit of breakfast this morning, right? Sure. <laughs> and here's another different kind of bun that we got from the bakery yesterday. The ube, ube taro bun, right? Yeah. We're going to try it out right now. Ooh. Yum, yum, yum. Looks good. That's what that looks like. All that purple goodness. Here we go. I'll check that other one. Mmm. What do you think? It's good. I like mm. the buttercream and stuff. Yeah. Mmm. Like oh my gosh. This is probably one of the softest buns I've ever had. Mmm. Perfect amount of sweetness. It's not too crazy sweet. Just enough. And uh, of course you've got like the little purple ube paste in there. Mmm. This would be perfect with a coffee, which I do have with me somewhere over there, but this is good, you guys. Mmm. Oh, and yesterday, 
we did try a custard bun from there and oh my god that was perfect as well and then that cream buttercream bun that i showed you guys earlier we tried that for the first time yesterday as well also delicious mm. highly recommend <laughs> We've got a little buddy here lurking around. I think he's waiting for some scraps of food. I see you. Okay guys, hopefully you can hear me. The wind has picked up a little bit, but I'm taking a short little stroll down the beach. We saw a runner running along the shoreline here earlier, and we noticed that she stopped mid-run and she was looking at something and was like taking pictures with her phone so me and jeff obviously got curious so jeff came down here to kind of take a peek at what she was looking at and um turns out it's a dead fish a dead catfish that looks like it's been washed up on the shoreline so now i'm taking a stroll to take a look myself and um show you guys Oh no, guys, look. Ugh, sorry if this is disturbing for you guys, but. Oh, poor guy. Just a couple of beach bums. Right, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning yet and um, about to bust into these. Old Dutch Ripple Sour Cream and Green Onion Chips. One of my um, favorite chip flavors. And then Jeff, what are you snacking on? Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar? <laughs> we both have a full bag of chips to ourselves. We take snacking serious around here. Right? Yeah, for now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> All right guys, next up on the snack list, we've got pepperoni sticks, cubed cheese, both marble and cheddar, one random cherry tomato, and then we've got small container here of sliced pickles, which I'm about to dig into, and I'm excited. Okay guys, taking a break from snacking and I'm about to walk up these um, small little sand dune hills and apparently there's a whole body of water on the other side here. It's apparently a lagoon and I just kind of want to see if we're able to walk there and yeah, I'll keep you updated. Oh wow, check this out you guys. The body of water is over there got you know your sand dune hills here and there's like a whole open space here and then just on the other side back this way is where the beach is where we are and let's see if we're able to walk down over there all right guys here we are looks like we are able to walk down over here and this is the lagoon. Apparently we can fish here. Maybe we'll try in a little bit. We did bring our gear, so... Wow. Here we are. Ooh. Look at that green stuff in the water. That looks um, appetizing, but... Awesome. I should tell Jeff that we can come down here. And I just walked from all the way over there. Okay guys, so I just came from down there. Decided to climb up this sand dune hill and check this out. 
Here's a bit of a higher view of the lagoon here that I just showed you guys. And I discovered there's like another whole body of water right there. There it is. Which I'm assuming is a part of the lagoon too, so. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> Running up the sand dune has kinda, kinda got me winded, but. Yeah, and then over here, this body of water, this is the beach. So, I'll do a full 360 view for you guys. guys so I'm just walking along the shoreline and um, I noticed that there was like tons of clusters of these um, little mini mussels so what these are are they are zebra mussels and um, they are an invasive species and we've got tons of them here unfortunately these are all dead obviously washed up on the shore but um, they do multiply pretty fast and um, yeah, it's crazy at the amount of shells that are on here and it just goes all along the shoreline all the way down both ways, so yeah, good times. Alright guys, back to snacking. This time We've busted open another one of the buns that we got from the bakery the other day. This is a pineapple bun. We already tried this yesterday and I already know it's good, so. Mmm. <laughs> There's a lot more people at the beach now, guys. Boo. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey guys, update. Um, as you can see, we're back in the vehicle now. It's about 1.15 in the afternoon and Jeff and I just finished packing up. We decided it's time to get out of here. The beach started to get, you know, more busy and really crowded between like 11, 11.30 and people are still slowly trickling in. So once the beach gets busy, we get the heck out of here. And now, where are we going, Jeff? Let's see if we can find a fishing spot. So, we're gonna attempt to go fishing. So earlier when I showed you guys the lagoon, um, we're gonna find a spot where we can kind of fish in that lagoon, or like around that area. Um, and then there's another spot that we want to try to find, so I'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, so we just did some driving around and we've made our way to it's called Balsam Bay Fishing Access, and we've never been here before, so we're gonna check it out. Wow! It's really shallow though. People way down there. Oh, is that where we're supposed to go? <laughs> Not sure. Cool. Alright guys, update. Exploring this area is a bit of a bust. I'm um, kind of confused as to why there's so many vehicles in this area, but there's no people to be seen. Um, there's absolutely no one here. Um, we did run into a random gentleman, the one person that we saw. He was about to go out kayaking and um, Jeff asked him if we were able to fish in this area and he said, oh yeah, you can, but Right now, the water is pretty shallow, so it's not really ideal for fishing right now. So, yeah, I think we're gonna just head back towards the city. Um, actually, we're gonna try going towards Selkirk, which is a small town just outside the city. 
I've vlogged about it before. It's our usual fishing spot. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna head in that direction for fishing and um, I'll keep you guys posted. Back at it again with the fishing, everybody. We're back in Selkirk Park. We just casted our lines. Now we just play the waiting game, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we catch at least one. We have uh, another bun from that bakery from yesterday. This is their custard bun. We're about to break that in half and have another snack, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, you can break it. Ooh. Yum. We tried this yesterday as well. Another great bun. They're all good, to be honest. They're all really, really good. Mmm. Beautiful, gorgeous summer day to just chill, do whatever. Spent a good chunk of time at the beach. Drove around for a little bit just to try to find a good fishing spot but we just ended up back here in Selkirk because it's a great spot to fish at and yeah here we are <laughs> Kuya with the first catch it's all bleeding oh no oh, wait I'm in the yes <laughs> man it's your night tonight Kuya the whole yeah! <laughs> Sick! Another one. This one isn't as bleeding as Good much. job! Second catch of the night. Are you kidding me? Third one! <laughs> Holy crap! They're all the same size. It's like yeah. the same school. You're on fire, oh, Kuya. Know, there's... On fire! This Third catch so of the evening. Man, I don't know what it is about today, but we found another dead fish body. What kind of fish is that? Is it is it a carp? Yeah. We've got a floater. Hey, catch number four. Oh, Whoa, that? what is that? A moon eye? Or whatever yeah, you call it? A moon eye. A moon eye. Yeah, let's go. Yay! Kuya! That's crazy, man. Fourth catch of the evening, and he caught a moon eye. Holy crap, you guys. My brother is on fire. He caught all four of these fish so far. What a haul! <laughs> Good job! Look what she got! Oh my goodness, look at her! <laughs> the catfish the little a little baby! <laughs> yeah! Wow! <laughs> big one! A big one! Yeah, nice. Is that too big? No. For, huh? I don't know. No? Okay. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Oh, nice! <laughs> Another size. Another decently sized. Bass? <laughs> yeah. Yay! What is that? Your really fifth well. one? Yeah. Yay! Get a picture of Jeff. Yay! <laughs> it's a baby! I know, but now it's my turn. <laughs> nice. Catch number six. Little bass. Woo! Right? Catch number six? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Awesome. everybody this is our uh, final fish haul of the evening I think we've got six of them in here I think six pretty good haul for tonight time to go home all right everybody I'm gonna officially end this vlog for today 
Did you have fun? Yeah. Today was the perfect Saturday spent doing summer things, outdoor things. Really happy. We're on our way home now. It's about eight o'clock in the evening now. Uh, we're leaving Selkirk and we're heading back to the city. Thank you guys for spending the day with us. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Take care and God bless as always. Bye. Bye, Jeff. See ya. Bye.